Hey, what's up guys? It's TJ here and welcome to the weekly Wildstar add-on. This is episode two and we're going to be going over an inventory system. There are quite a few out there, a couple main ones that people use, but we're going to be going over Corona bags. This is the one I personally use and I use it for a very specific reason. The bag inventory slots out there are they have their own features, they have their own pros and their own cons, and I'm going to go over the pros of this one, why I chose this one over the other ones, and yeah, we're going to go we're going to go through that. So, first things first, you'll notice I have a couple bags. I got my main bag here with all my settings, my currencies, everything like that, and I have a couple other bags over here. For people that don't know, Corona Bags gives you the option of having virtual bags. These virtual bags you can assign filters to, you can assign uh, settings to, you can prevent salvaging of that bag, you can change the size of it, but it generally acts as a secondary bag and it helps you filter your items. Uh, a lot of times when you're leveling or going through the world or you're doing your thing, you're kind of farming out stuff, you get a lot of different types of things, so it's very helpful to have it automatically filter in a correct bag, keeps everything clean, keeps everything nice, I'm kind of a neat freak, so it helps me majorly. And all, another application for these bags, what I tend to do at the end game level when I start getting myself a, a support set and an assault set, depending on what class I'm playing, what I will do is I will create a virtual bag by pressing new virtual bag right here. And I'll go into the settings and I will add a width of one. So I'll make it a width of six. Now the reason I do that is because when you go into your character creation screen, you're going to count 12 pieces of gear. And so you got your weapon, you have your energy shield, you have your head, your shoulders, your chest, your gloves, your pants, your boots. So that's eight total. Plus your weapon attachment, your support system, your implant, and your gadget. So we have eight plus four, 12. Bam. Automatically gear bag. So what I'll do... To kind of show you how I, I work this, I generally organize this in tandem with another add-on called Gear, which is more than likely going to be my next episode. Uh, gear can, here's a little preview of Gear. I don't have any profile set up, but this is kind of a little gist of it. So we're not going to go into that right now, but that's the reason why I create this virtual bag. So generally what I'll do is I'll name this bag something like um, Gear. Something along that, and I'll definitely want to check prevent salvage because that's going to stop my salvage button here from bringing up any of the gear in this bag. So notice I have a pair of pants, these Ar Arborean trousers. If I go close that and I tr here they are right there. If I put them in there, boom, they're not on the list. So you're not accidentally going to salvage anything in this bag. Um, very important. So the reason why I, I have this separate gear bag is because. When I'm swapping gear sets using the other add-on, it's going to automatically dump all the gear that it swaps into this bag. So it works really well keeping your set away from your bulk inventory. And that's really important when you're farming things like ship hands and dungeons and, and even raids in the future. You don't want your current gear or your other set that you're not using at the time to get mixed up in all the drops that you're getting. It's very important that you have this separation, and this is the main, main, main reason why I use Corona bags over everything else. So let's go ahead and, I guess, delete this bag. Notice if you just close it, it creates a tab, which is kind of cool. So you don't need to be, like, I don't need to show my seeds, right? And I don't need to show my runes, really. I have them down here. It also automatically makes a quest bag. So if I have any items that are for quests, it automatically makes that virtual bag, which is pretty darn cool. So now that we have all those tabs down there, we've kind of fiddled with them and managed them. Let's check out our settings, our options. So here you can definitely change the icon size. You can make it really tiny if you want to. Look how small I can make my inventory. You can also make it pretty darn big. So um, what we'll do is we'll just apply it to, I think it was like 42, I believe was what it was at. Um, you can also change the width and the height if you like it to be really long and skinny and and on like the top or bottom of your screen when it pops up, you can do that. If you like it to be really narrow and tall, you can do that. Um, you can pretty much organize it any way that you want to based on these sliders. And it will tell you how many total slots you have, including virtual slots. So you can have a bag that's technically doesn't look full. There's more slots, but, but they're not real slots. 
um, and you will not be able to use them. So you have to be sure that you know your inventory. You know when you're getting full, your outer ring of your inventory will glow yellow when you're starting to get close to being full, and it'll be red when it, you are full. So if you ever open your inventory, it's yellow or red. You know you're getting close, or you are full on your inventory space with all your virtual bags included. So you have an auto sell junk feature. This is also now a feature in the game. Not quite as important. Uh, I kind of trust the Wildstar vendors a little more because they know the gear more than this. So I don't have auto junk set on here. I do it via Wildstar, their official part now. You can also have an auto guild repair. You can also have an auto sell amps. This is not even necessary anymore considering you don't need to farm amps anymore. But back in the day, when you needed to farm actual amps to unlock your amps, this would have been something that you would check after you finished your tree and you just don't care and you just want to sell them. You can uh, show the quest bag or you can hide the quest bag if you want to. That's something that can you can definitely get out of your way. You can enable the highlight trail. So notice I have this. I hit apply and it should go away technically. The item highlight trail. Mm, so yeah. Notice how it's not its not really making a trail. It makes a trail out here, but it doesn't make a trail out here. Um, if I want to enable that, I apply it. Now it kind of does. Now it kind of has that trail. Interesting kind of thing. You can compact during sorting. I do recommend that. Um, and you can disable bag auto resize. So it'll stop it from getting a, a bar, basically. And then if you ever have any issues, you just hit this fix errors and it will, it'll do the trick for you. So let's go ahead and bring up some of these bags that I made again. So we have my our two our two bags that I was currently using because I am getting runes and I am getting seeds and they kind of get mixed up in the current population. They kind of get mixed up in the current population of the stuff that you have. So I tend to make these bags really quick. Say that I have a bunch of stuff over here. It's kind of random. Say I just made my filters, right? Let's actually delete some of these bags and show you how it kind of works. So let's just go ahead and drop everything out of there. Oops. Let's say that I got all these mixed up seeds and then I got all these mixed up runes. Right. So we're going to do that. And then we also got this pair of pants, right? So this is how it's going to look when you first start out. Clear those filters. We're actually going to delete this bag. Destroy that bag. We're going to destroy our seeds bag as well. And we're going to destroy our gear bag. Don't need it. Okay, so right now you can compact during sorting. Notice nothing is sorted. You just compacted it. The way you're going to want to do this is say, oh man, I got an awful lot of runes. So let's make a virtual bag. Let's size it the way we want. We can have it really high. We can have it really high and skinny. We can have it kind of like medium. However you want it, you want to set it up. And then we'll name it runes. And boom. Now what we'll do is in the keywords, the item sort keywords, which is really important, we're gonna type rune. Boom. You hit enter and it automatically takes everything that is associated with the word rune and it dumps it in the bag. Let's go ahead and make another one, another virtual bag right here. This one can be a little smaller. Uh, we'll make it like the same size though, just for continuity sake. And we'll name it seeds. Um, don't really care about salvage at this point. We can we can just put seed in there. And if you want to space multiple things out, you can actually say a different method would be for something like let's make a gear bag, name it gear here. And if say we're like ah, oh, I don't know what I need. This is when it comes into the the thing of I have this gear. This is the gear I want in this bag. I really like this weapon attachment. I really like this implant. And I really like this leg. I like these legs. You can hit imprint on everything. And those are the three things it's going to dump in your bag. So say we bring these back out. Somehow they get mixed up in population. Maybe your game crashed and it didn't save some add-on settings or it didn't whatever. Now all you have to do is just press A to Z, sorts it, goes all, through all your filters, and dumps what you need in. So basically what you want to know is, is it's only going to sort this bag. And it's going to sort everything in this bag, 
into the ones that you've made and applied filters to. So we're gonna go ahead and clear the filters. We're gonna redo seed and we're good. So that's the general gist. You also have all your, your um, currencies displayed here at the bottom. You have your Omni bits, which was just added recently in the last patch. You have your prestige, your crafting vouchers, all that kind of stuff right down here at the bottom. And it is just a nice, simple, simple add-on. It does come with some alerts, which are pretty awesome. And you can adjust the loot notifications and this is what they look like. So you can move this new loot notification around. If you're collecting a bunch of stuff, boom, it'll pop up here. I know that this currently is kind of sort of not working correctly since the new free to play patch, but it is, Corona is constantly updating. I think I've got an update every day from this add on. So it is currently being worked on. You have all your thresholds. You have long, how long you want to display it for to how many you want it to display on the sides and the scale of it. So if I want to make it big, I want to make it small and then how many items, all that kind of jazz, you can go crazy. So that's an, an awesome secondary feature of the add-on. I want to thank you guys for hanging out and checking out the weekly featured add-on show. I appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to Wildstar Core. Thank you so much for hosting my content and other content creators from Wildstar on your site. Huge shout out to them. Be sure to follow their website. Check them out with guides, PvP guides, all kinds of stuff are in there on their website. So be sure to go check them out. Link is down in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wildstar's add-on of the week. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.